everybody we are at our second apiary where we put the first split we ever did um, it's just another farm family farm that we have bees on and I'm just lighting the smoker we're gonna check our bees the first split we ever did we have uh, grown it it's in two deeps uh, we're gonna see if it needs a honey super on it uh, from there we're gonna check another little nuke that we got and off a split and then another uh, new hive that we um, that we split also. Um, it's doing a lot better, so it's in a, it's already in a deep versus a nuke. So we're going to take all those today, and uh, we're going to bring y'all along for it. All right, this is the first split. We did a video on this one when we had a nuke going to a a box. So it has grown. It's done really well. We've been really pr pr proud of it because, to be honest with you, we've never done a split before this one. Uh, we, that was kind of our goal this year is to learn splits and to grow our bees. So. Uh, we're going to go in and check it and make sure all is well. This was that good queen we had at our original apiary by our house. So we're going to check it. Got good propolis. That's a good sign. Just want to smoke them just a little bit. I'll hang my smoker right there. Check. We do not have a queen excluder because we're in too deep. So these are her two boxes. So we just want to make sure uh, our queen is not on this top, which uh, I've never had a queen on top, but you always check because you never know. The one time you don't check, she'll be on there. All right, your bees are in the middle. We see that, so we always start away from our bees. So we want to start on the side. You want to take your first super out, or your first frame, excuse me. That little bee, he's kind of hurting in you. Um, let's get this one out of the way. Nothing on it, which is, is normal just because we just put this box on not too long ago, but that gives us a little bit more room to work with. So nothing on these little frames. There's a few bees that uh, that are working on it. All right, you see how now they've started on this one. Let's see how they're building out their, their cone. How cool is that? So they started building out on this frame for honey. This is going to be a honey frame. You can already tell. <clears throat> All right, let's go see if we can find a queen or at least find evidence of her. All right, again, another honey frame. Look how cool that looks. Look at all the honey already stored up. We've also got some pollen, that darker color in there is pollen. It's just from different plants. So this is another honey frame, but look look in the middle. The queen is gonna be close. If you can see, there's little larva in there as well. So she's been laying on this frame too, which is kind of unique because she's got plenty of room to lay. So she's starting to lay right here. Those little white Looks like little rice, shapes. that's right are what are the babies now that means she has been on this frame today yesterday sometime really soon because they've not started now, explain capping it the difference in open brood and closed brood okay open brood that's open brood so you've got little larva in there uh look how i don't know if you can tell misty look closer to the honey they're small 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 brand spanking new and then up here they're bigger so that shows that she's doing a progression on this on this frame here so a lot of young bees in this hive very good hive I mean, this this queen is just outstanding she's uh, always been our best yeah i mean last year first year well no first year we had her uh, we've maintained this queen since we we've got this high and uh she the first year we had her and we only had her for just one little season she put off about um, enough bees to do the biggest hive we ever seen and there's more right Let's there see you can there. really see it against yeah. the dark how good that is she's got a lot of new bees there i don't know if you can hear but you see here how calm this hive is you don't hear a lot of sound and what that is is because they everything's going in order they've got great honey great pollen great bees great larva everything's doing really well so um when they're loud pretty much that means that they may they, there could be a few things there could be uh queenless uh, they could be starting to swarm. They could have some other issues that they're not happy with. Uh, it could be us causing issues. That's why you always want to give a little smoke. Let, let them know you're here. Another thing, don't ever be rough with your hives. You always want to be just slow. Try to work them as quietly as you can and also as slow as you can. Don't do that. That I just did. <laughs> Build out this cone with some pollen. 
We have found her before and got pictures of her that we have on our Instagram and Facebook page from this hive. It's another honey. We're building out for honey. It's no brood on there. I was going to try to show you some closed brood. We've got, I mean, we've got closed brood on other videos, but we were going to show you one in this hive too. Again, they're building up for honey. There's some honey right there. No brood here. You don't see her though, do you? Mm-mm. And traditionally, not saying always, but traditionally, your queen is not going to be on a frame of honey. Uh, pretty much what we've always learned. Now, again, we are rookie beekeepers compared to some of you guys on YouTube. But um, most of the time, your queen is going to be on where she's laying. Uh, open brood is a good sign that you'll probably find her on those high on those uh, frames. So we can go back and look and see if we find her. But pretty much, they're going to bring the honey to her. Um, your worker bees are going to pretty much be on your on your um, on your honey frames. I don't see her. I was trying to find her. It's great bees on this one. Great, great, great bees. She might be on bottom. Yeah, she could be on bottom. We are in the second one. And there's, if you look down in there, Misty, if you look in there, look how many bees are down in there. Look how small oh, those bees too. are. Let's put these good. A great hive. Um, not ready to put a, another honey. Not ready to put a honey super on yet. Uh, we want her to keep on growing and thriving in this one. I'm gonna close this one up. And, and the, the thing too, if you can't find your queen, and no worries. Sometimes you don't want to always try to find your queen because ultimately, the more you mess with this hive, the more danger you may cause her. You don't want to cause her any issue. So. Um, sometimes if you can't find her no worries find evidence of her so you want to find either closed brew so that means she's been there open brew that means she's really been there recently uh, and also you see a lot of young bees so that means she's it's, it's a steady flow of you know larva closed brew new bees larva closed brew new bees that's what you want to see uh, when you see that that means your hive is growing now say i put a honey super on this right now if you notice they're on one, two, three, four, five frames here up top. They're starting to work on the one we showed you with the honeycomb. And they're starting to work on one over here. So that means that's about six to seven frames that's got bees on it. If I just put another frame on here or another box on here, you're giving them a little too much room that could cause problems to the hive. You want to make sure they're getting enough room, but you don't want to ever give them too much room. Uh, if you say, for instance, you come to a hive and there's just tons of bees on that side, that doesn't mean that they don't have enough room, but there could be an issue there that you need to check and see if your queen's okay. See if you've got enough room for them. See if they've got enough room for their brood. Because one thing is, if during honey honey flow, um, they could lock her out, meaning she could be, bees can be going out of there. Instead of her being able to lay back in there, they could lock her out with honey. Uh, I mean, that's good for honey, but ultimately, if she has no place to lay, you're not going to have any new fresh bees. So you want to make sure you put that honey super on get your bees working up here here for the honey super which is be what we rob and then let let this be where she has enough honey but also has plenty of room to lay for larvae and bees ultimately that is the goal her goal is to make bees their goal is to make honey all right pleased with that one so let's move on to the next my direct Get our smoker going again. Alright, well, let's get him back. Yeah, they're doing good. Alright, let me get a little more smoke and we'll start on this one too, so. I tried to go in some one time uh, 
<laughs> at my other apiary. I said, well, I'm gonna be smooth and just run in there, check them real quick. It's supposed to rain. And uh, I said, I'm gonna check all the hives real quick. For some reason, I don't know, if you know me, um, bees are like attracted to me. I don't know what it is. It's like they like my blood. I have sweet blood or something. Because <laughs> my wife can be out here with nothing on and never get stung. Uh, like yesterday, we were chicken bees at the other apiary. My boot. I had one of my pants leg rolled up from where I was milking and just they just sat on top of my boot like I do when I milk. And there were like three honeybees went in there and stung my leg. So like my leg barely fits in my boot now because it's like swollen. So I don't know if I'm even allergic to bees. I could be, which is a terrible thing. So, but anyways, let's check this one. I always wear, I always have smoke. That's what I was smoke trying to say. Smoke keeps them calm. Give them a little smoke. Close back up, let it sit it, on a little it bit. It helps them not to get so agitated. And when you're messing with their house, they can get pretty agitated. But so, don't over smoke them either. They're, they're, you can do that. You just want to give just a little puff of smoke. I just got it going across them right now, nothing major. It just helps them to get not so agitated. All right, again, try to work away. And we've really tried to work on this one. We um, are waiting for a queen, so. All right, so this is honey. This is capped honey. That's, that means it's getting capped. All right, we'll lay this one down for a second. There is some young bees in here, so let's see what we got. Maybe. Oh yeah, looks like we got a little. This is another one they're building honey on. Look at the pollen, how different colors it is. Um, Sometimes when you look at that, it kind of scares you. You're like, what is that brown? Why is it so dark? Why is it blue? Depending on what they're feeding off of, your, your pollen may be orange. Your pollen may be yellow. Your pollen may be blue. It may be purple. It's so unique. But that's how you get different flavors of honey sometimes is because what they're getting fed with on the land that they're on. That's why we wanted to start this second apiary so we could have a little bit different taste of honey maybe. But also they could just feed on something different. So it's always fun to play with it. All right, now we've got some... This is closed honey, I mean closed uh, brood right here. Let's show you that. Now they got yeah, a little Is that roller. old or is that new? Because we did put... I don't know, let's see. Let's see if we see anything new. All right, look how that bee is coming out right here. I'm gonna show you this. Look, closed brood, look how this bee is coming out with that closed brood. I can't find it for the camera. Where's it at? I got walls. Hold on. I gotta pick it up. I can't pick it up. It's sliding. All right, see this one right here? Look right there. It's climbing out of its brood. So here's another one. Isn't that awesome? So that's a new bee? That's a new bee coming out of closed brood. That's a really cool I've never seen. Look how, and see, look, look at this pollen. How this pollen is purple, but this pollen's orange. Green. This just shows they're feeding off so much. It's so cool. Let's see if we see uh, evidence of a queen or a queen cell or a queen. Alright, so we're seeing a lot of closed brood. Now, we, like Misty said, we've kind of helped this hive try to get to where it needs to go because it was a, uh, a split uh, and they had a, they had a queen cell. However, I still have not seen evidence of a new queen uh, and she, she could be a virgin queen, meaning she's not, she's not ready to lay. We'll see though. Let's, let's get these other frames out. That's honey locked right there. So that, let's see if this is a, is a queen cell. Oh. Look at all the different color pollen again. So that's this honey locked right there. Let's see. They're really loud though. So yeah. sometimes, like you were saying earlier, sometimes that's the indicator that there's not a queen. They're really roaring. A lot of on this side. Yeah, so this is honey. So I don't, I don't see a queen. I don't even see evidence of a new queen. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to slide this one back in. We're going to slide this one back over. Um, they've got plenty of brood to make a, um, a queen. They haven't made one yet. So let's, uh, let's put this back. We'll check it again in about a week.
We checked this, what, about a week a week and, and a half, half ago? or so ago, maybe two weeks. I came up here and checked And it. there was a queen cell, wasn't there? Not in this one. It was in that one over there. Okay, so they This still one has not them. had a queen cell, but at the same time, it either has a virgin queen that's flying and hadn't made it yet, maybe, or either it just hadn't made a queen. Uh, usually it'd be, though. If it doesn't have a queen, it's going to make a queen. Especially if it has all the aspects of it. We may take some open brood from the first one and put it in that one try to help it along, too. So we'll, we'll see if we can do that, too, and I'll show you what I'm doing there. Let's see if we can get this one. Check it. You gotta watch some of this. It's pretty and all. It's neat, but if you don't watch it, it can stick to your your frames and pull them up and say so you got a queen on there and all of a sudden it smashes her that's what you don't want they sound pretty quiet though so yeah, right now they do the honey frame no filament frame yet let's see got a little old brood there Old brood there, but no queen cells there. There's new, there's new cells. Okay, so look, we, I'm, I'm gonna try to look for the queen, but look at the new cells. You see the new cells in there? That means there is a queen somewhere in this hive. So you got open brood and closed brood right beside each other. So that means we have a queen laying in here. Okay, here, here's some more. Look, see it's dark okay. right there in the middle. Those little white dots. Now, Maybe there's a queen. The somewhere. crazy thing is, there's a lot of bees over here. So we're going. We may move that middle right here. Move that in the middle because I imagine the queen may be over there. We're going to see. I don't think she's on these hives because there's no bees on them, and that's that's honey there. So we'll play that one right there for right now. We checkerboarded this, meaning we gave a little bit more space for her to lay. But she may have just. Yeah, she's so this one was the one that we that we knew was a queen cell in it, and you can see um, that. That's all. She had. She was laying, so that's good. All right, so let's let's get her. She's gonna be probably on this frame. See how many bees are just encasing this um, this frame here. We're gonna be gentle. Let's see here. Yeah, there's all kind of new larva, new, new and closed brood, open brood, tons of it. So we're gonna move this to the middle because I want her there. Now, normally, let me go back and say this. You see all this wax comb at the bottom? You don't want that. Normally, you'd tear this off. Now, let me tell you why I have that there. Um, I'm gonna try to look for the queen as I'm talking. I, the the one we split out of was uh, was a medium box um, deep. So instead of doing a true deep box, uh, the beekeeper that we were splitting off of uses mediums all the way down and up. He's a natural beekeeper, so he doesn't use queen excluder. So he my I use only deeps at the bottom for the queen. Now, so because this is a deep box, they have more room to build on this medium frame. So that's what they're doing. They're building to match the bottom and close it up. So once i know that i've got a good queen she's laying on other frames and i know she's not on here like she is on there probably um, i will go and clean this one off and move it but as of right now it's such a new hive i don't want to cause any damage or cause her any problems she's got new new bees everywhere so that is so good that's so good i see a bunch of jars i see some jars but i can't find her i don't her either she's probably in this comb see look how they make little caverns that's why you, you don't like this because they make little caverns and i bet you money the queen is probably in there uh, hiding and keeping warm and they're probably all there if you see notice there's tons of bees on this bottom they're she's probably in there and it's, it's not cool out but it's also the sun's not out misty let's see i'm gonna slide this over well, so, that's exciting to know though that 
these three splits and at least we have we know we've got two that are are laying so that's very encouraging we'll give her some new room now see this only had nine frames in it the reason we did that is because they had drawn out some comb and we wanted to make sure she had plenty of room that wasn't too tight on that queen cell that we had in here the other day so now you see that queen cell had plenty of room and of course now i made a queen I see cap brood there, so I'll let them finish. I mean, not cap brood, I'm sorry, cap, cap honey. honey. All right, so we're doing good here. Now, here's what we're going to do. We know the queen's okay. They've got plenty of room to grow. However, here's what we're going to do. We know this, this hive's doing okay. So now we're going to go back into our bigger hive, take part of some open brood and closed brood and some pollen and put in here. Now, why are we doing that? We want to see that nuke grow into a better hive. Does that mean we don't have a queen? We don't know, because we hadn't seen her. It's roaring, and there's no evidence of a queen cell or new brood. So now we're gonna put in a good, this is a healthy hive. So we're gonna rob brood from it, open and close. You wanna open and close on there. Shake your bees off, put it in here. That way we can see if we can get this, this nuke going and making a full true hive. Get your smoke back going, and I'm gonna stand back and watch. All right, so first we're gonna take this back off. What I'm gonna do is find out what what we need to come out here with. All right, so there's that's just all honey. So what we're gonna do is probably shake bees off. All right, so now we're gonna just kind of hold this right there. There'll be a few bees going back and forth. We'll slide this over. You want to get to the middle. You want to put it in the middle. They've got plenty of uh, older brood in here, and I'm not saying this. It won't. They've not made a queen, but there's no new brood. So we're gonna put another frame of brood in here from a good hive because I know she's doing good, and that way we can see if we can build this hive back up. Let's give them a little smoke. Yeah, and we've taken this one from a new to two boxes in what? Less than a month? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Make sure my queen's not back on here because, again, she could be. Now, let's make a little room here. So we know she's not on this one because this was that honey frame. So we're going to kind of just get it up, put it in, in our top there. Give us a little bit more room so we won't hurt her or hurt any of the other bees if we don't have to. Some more honey. All right, let's see if we can. At this point, anytime you do this, you do want to make sure that there's no queen on there, uh, unless you're doing a split. Well, we're not doing a split. We're trying to help a split make it. So the last thing you want to do is all of a sudden put this queen in there on accident. Um, she is happy in her place, so we want we want to leave her in her place. But we're just gonna make sure we don't see her. But there's a lot of open brood here, which is good. So. Let's see if we see her. Okay, she is not on this frame. This is our black queen too. She is she's really dark. Um, so she's pretty noticeable. Uh, most of our other queens are almost golden. They're, they're, you can really tell them too, but this one's really dark, but I have not seen her. Okay, so we're going to just make sure there's... Shake those bees off. in here if you're a beekeeper and you frown upon this I'm sorry tell me why I mean, that's just the way we learn to try to salvage these bees now if all of a sudden this hive does not make it if all of a sudden we cannot get this hive going then at that point what you do is you say okay I want to save the bees that I've got because again bee populations are down you would put a piece of newspaper over this one put them in a, in a box 
let them eat through the newspaper. By the time that they ate through the newspaper, they would have been attracted to her pheromones, the new queen. They wouldn't hurt those bees, they'd be fine in here. So you could grow your hive that way, but instead of us trying to go down on a hive, we want to try to go up on a hive. So we're going to see if we can get that one going back. So let's put this one back in there. Let's get it all closed up. And she'll continue to keep laying. Well, we hope you enjoyed going into our bees with us. Happy homesteading, y'all.